California-based startup Jet Zero has a plan to bring America's most potent air power advantage into the 21st century using an entirely new approach to aircraft design. So let's talk about their proposed KC-Z4 blended wing body refueling tanker. Now, everybody already knows that the U.S. operates the largest air force on the planet, but you might not realize that it also operates the largest tanker fleet on the planet by a huge margin. According to Global Firepower, roughly 90% of the tankers on this planet fly for the United States, giving the United States an absolutely unprecedented air power advantage when it comes to extending the range of both tactical and strategic aircraft in the fight. Now, America's tanker fleets today are primarily made up of KC-135s, which share some DNA with Boeing 707, and the newer KC-46, which are based on the 767. But these jets are designed using that traditional tube and wing approach. Then, obviously, they light up a radar screen like no tomorrow. And that is where Jet Zero wants to step in with their KC Z4. The Z4's blended wing body design means there are no clear separations between the aircraft's wings and its fuselage, leaning further into a flying wing design than the KC-46's tube and wing approach. As a result, the aircraft's entire body produces lift while providing a huge increase in internal volume. So, Jet Zero says it'll use half the fuel of today's tankers to cover the same distance. And that matters, because tankers actually share their fuel with the jets that they replenish. With 200,000 pounds of fuel carried on board, the KC-Z4 could fly more than 4,600 miles out, pump out 10,000 pounds of fuel to each of a half dozen F-35s, and then fly all the way home on its own internal fuel. And for comparison, if you tasked America's new KC-46 with that same job, it could only refuel a single F-35 at those ranges. And that isn't all. Like today's tankers, the KC-Z4 would also be used to supplement other logistical deliveries, with the ability to accommodate 21 full-sized pallets on board versus the KC-46's 18. And if you need to deliver troops instead, that same interior space could accommodate up to 120 of them. In fact, Jet Zero even sees this Z4 design as the potential basis for a C-17 replacement they aim to pitch as well. And I want to be clear, this isn't exactly hypothetical. Back in 2023, Jet Zero secured a $235 million contract from the U.S. Air Force to fly a full-scale commercial demonstrator by 2027. And unlike most large aircraft programs, Jet Zero is reporting that this effort is on budget and on schedule, with the aircraft's full-scale fuel tanks and cockpit tooling already complete, and wing test articles being evaluated as we speak. And while this aircraft is not touted as stealth, it is at least worth mentioning how blended wing body designs allow for the integration of stealth design elements far easier than traditional tube and wing aircraft designs. Meaning the KC-Z4 could not only be more efficient, it could be more survivable too. And if it works, we are all but certain to see more blended wing body aircraft soon to follow.